Meteorologist Joe Ranieri joins us now. Joe, are we going to get a chance to see those satellites again tonight? Absolutely. And in fact, I got a chance to see it on Saturday night on top of the uh, KGW studios. A bunch of us went up to the roof to check it out. It was absolutely incredible. And if you're hoping to check it out tonight, you're in luck. So here's a look at where to look uh, for the satellites this evening. Just after nine o'clock, look in the southwest northeast part of the sky and then you get a chance to see it tomorrow at 9 11 and again Wednesday night a little after 9 30. But again, uh, the timing of this can all change a little bit because they are satellites. But as we look at the future cast, here's a look where the clouds will be and late tonight. You're not going to be seeing any evidence of any clouds and that's going to hold true heading into tomorrow night as well. Uh, come Wednesday, there will be a little bit of some clouds throughout the morning, but heading into the later part of this week, as you can see, we're going to be seeing basically clear skies. So there will be a lot of opportunities to to check these out. Of course, you just heard from Jim Todd and he said this is going to be something we, we get used to seeing uh, into the uh, coming months, coming years as well. So as we look at more about the Starlink satellites, they fly between 270 to 340 miles uh, above the Earth uh, and we can see uh, up to about 2700 satellites in orbit currently and as we look at some of the, the videos, they're pretty incredible. They are pretty fast. These satellites travel Patrick at 17,500 miles per hour and they hover just um, a little bit higher than where the International Space Station is at. And again, the International Space Station is basically 20,000 miles from where we're at. But it's just incredible to see some of these images out there. And uh, it took a, a few minutes to to basically kind of have your eyes adjust out there to the night sky on Saturday night. I was waiting and waiting. I saw some stars and constellations, even some planets. It was so clear out. And then boom, once you see it, you cannot take your eyes off of it. It's absolutely incredible to see and if you're wondering how long does it last it lasts a good amount four to five minutes at first on Saturday when I was looking at it it would look shot up just like a rocket and then it just started to go right above the horizon and it was absolutely incredible to see so again you do have a chance in the next couple of nights especially tonight with clear skies just after nine o'clock uh, just look at the uh, southwest part of the sky throughout the city and you'll be getting a good chance to see it and it is bright you know a lot of these um, you know uh, images you need to get away from the city lights. Not these. These are very bright as you can as you saw from that video and those pictures. Yeah, sounds great. We'll look for that tonight. Thank you, Joe.